their profile and uh, uh, from our website, which is www.lcworld.net. Uh, this is how to learn about the activity and engage and engage with you. And it's happening in all these various places, Pakistan, Lebanon, and India, and many other places around the world. The recipient of the NC World International Award will attend the ITIO Congress in my house in Brazil and uh, will receive a artistic residency at Nolombia to create a new work in June and the financial and production support to present this new work at the Civil Festival of the World in Brazil.
Będzie się odczuliście miejsce w Afryce i Wolomie, w Afryce i Wolomie, w Afryce i Wolomie, w Afryce i Wolomie, Three days, three years ago, when we first began to come here and work the, with this community that have suffered violence for many years, so we came oh, with yeah. our theater. We have the motorcycle <laughs> life. <laughs> I will show you. I will yes. show you. <laughs> that is wonderful. <laughs> Great. Situation. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think about the award? I mean, what is your impression? And what oh, are you, I, what's your project going to be? I, I think it's a wonderful, it's a prolongation of Ellen Stewart's spirit. This is the first thing, this situation we're living here, this difficulty, this fight to make things happen and continue and this, that. This, I think, was the spirit that I learned from my name, Stewart. So it's really alive, yes? And uh, we are working casually with the Afro-Colombian antique tradition. And uh, 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 I think it's a, incre a very nice homage, how you call it? Yes. Uh, that we want to give to Ellen, working with this woman, that one of the characteristics of this population is, is that they don't have opportunities and they have incredible talent. And this is our fight to try to, to help people that have incredible talent and they, they cannot show it to the world. So this is why we are here. And I think this is the spirit of Ellen Stewart. Thank you. Your work has been partly in Colombia, but also partly in Italy, where you have yes. been working with uh, refugees and victims of uh, torture and violence. And the work that you have proposed for the residency actually is uh, more connected to this uh, group of people in Italy. Do you want to mention something about that? Yes, uh, for us it's like a step forward of the 10 years of work we have done with victims of torture. Because we have worked for six months, intense work with a, a group. Then we make a performance and this group goes. And we have a new group. But now you are giving us the opportunity uh, and the Spoleto Festival to make a step forward in the sense that we are going to choose the best, the, not so many because we have not the possibility, but the, the best uh, talent that we have seen in these 10 years and we will put them together to make a performance. So uh, it's, it's an uh, opportunity you are giving to us. Thank you. Do you want to remind us uh a little bit about the performance. Yes, I want to uh, new base here. Please. That all our work, we have done it together, and she will explain a little bit about the performance in Spanish or in Italian? In Italian, in Italiano. È possibile? Certo, certo. Puoi parlare in Italiano, io ti traduco. Grazie. Grazie. Eh, allora, l'idea è che noi vogliamo creare uno spettacolo che parli del viaggio, eh, del viaggio, del viaggio delle persone che in questi ultimi mesi, negli ultimi anni, hanno rischiato anche la vita pur di e trovare una via di, di, di salvezza a, a delle situazioni veramente molto molto difficili. E, Aspetta un attimo che traduco. Del viaggio, oh, 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 oh. Perdono, non no, scusate. Traduco un, un, lo che, che dijiste hasta ora, ok? Sì. Ok. The performance that they are proposing for the Spoleto Festival is uh, based on the idea of a journey and the journey that many of the immigrants have been uh, living and going through in the last months and last years and the 
based on the tragedies that are happening in the Mediterranean area in the last years. Prego. Quindi l'idea è raccontare il viaggio, però raccontarlo attraverso le storie personali, le esperienze personali, quindi rendere umano questo viaggio che finora conosciamo soprattutto attraverso delle statistiche, cioè l'anonimato dei numeri, quindi rendere, eh, rendere viva questa umanità che ha intrapreso un viaggio sembrando un esodo quasi biblico, insomma epocale. So the way is to tell this journey through the personal stories of the people. Uh, right now we only hear the numbers uh, and the statistics of this uh, tragedy and uh, through the performance they want to give a, a more human uh, presence to the story of the journey. It's more, it, they imagine it like a biblical journey. Okay? Quindi l'idea è attraverso un, uh, un testo meraviglioso che è il libro eh, del poeta Sufi, un libro del XII secolo, il verbo degli uccelli, il verbo degli uccelli, eh, attraverso questo libro raccontare eh, di questo viaggio. Quindi uno spettacolo che si, eh, si, mh, si realizzerà, diciamo, come messa in scena in una vecchia barca in mezzo al Mediterraneo. As a starting point, they will use a um, text of a Sufi poet, which is entitled The Words of the Birds. And uh, this will be uh, taking place on uh, a boat, which is imagined to be in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, grazie. Grazie. Yes. Yes, so thank you. There are people who are asking, who is behind you? <laughs> so here behind us are the most beautiful women <laughs> that are the, the singers of the Alabaos, that they are in, we can call them, they are the Gospels of the jungle. <laughs> so we want given homage, homage to Ellen Stewart. And I think the best way and the most beautiful way is that they will sing for her and for you all the Alabao songs. It's like a gospel, kind of gospel of the Pacific coast in Colombia. So Thank you. We will make them sing. Okay. Thank you. Okay.
Thank you so much. It's amazing, beautiful voices. I think now Muchas I gracias a todas. Gracias, maravilloso. I think now you can understand why we do what we do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. So we really thank you so much, and we will be in contact in shortly in the next weeks. And we wish you all the best for this production for the Bogota Festival. Thank you very much. And really, we have no words to thank you ah, yes. all for actually, honoring us. Actually, Bernardo and Nube and all the women, uh, you don't have a wine with you, but we have prepared wine for the people that are here, and we want to make a toast for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, 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 to you, to you, to your performance and your work, a toast. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Grazie mille. Salute. So Salute. Grazie, grazie. Ciao. Bye. Bye bye. Ciao. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Wow, that was amazing. Um, a lot of people took a lot of time and effort to put this all together, but there, there's probably um, one of us who really coordinated all, uh, all the rest of us and, and made sure we got everything done on time. And uh, I want to give a special thank you to Adriana Garbignati for all the amazing work she's done with us. She also, she's in the kitchen because she also cooked the meal that you're about to, to enjoy. There she is. Adriana Garbignani, there she is. Okay, so now you will get um, a program uh, for tonight which uh, talks a little bit more about uh, Nube and Bernardo's work. Uh, we're very excited to see what they will be bringing uh, to Spoleto this summer. I want to take a couple of minutes to explain a little bit about what's going on for the rest of this week and uh, on into La Mama Umbria 2016. So we have upcoming this week La Mama Umbria play readings. These are plays that were written by playwrights last summer under the facilitation of uh, Brandon Jacobs Jenkins. There's a bunch of playwrights here. You raise your hand, you guys. There are playwrights from last summer in the house, and we're so happy that you're here, and we're looking forward to hearing all the plays that you guys have written, inspired by your time in La Mama Umbria. You have a complete schedule of the plays in the program, plus so you can also find that online. They're free to come and attend. They'll be here in this room, and we encourage you. Um, they start on Friday, and they go all through Friday, Friday evening, Saturday, Saturday evening. So please come and enjoy the plays. Now, as for La Mama Umbria 2016, uh, we're going to have uh, some things we've had before and some new programming. So first of all will be the Director's Symposium, which will go from July 11th to August 10th. And the teaching artists who will be part of that program this year include Lee Brewer and Juan Mitchell of Mabu Mines. The, uh, the, the uh, award-winning puppeteer Basil Twist Sanjoy Ganguly from uh, Yana Sanskriti in India, who was also one of the finalists here for this award. Yoshiko Chuma from Japan. Marianne Weems, you're in the house. Marianne, where are you? Marianne Weems is going to join us this summer from Builders. Thank you so much for being here. Ilya K. Schneider, Enrique Vargas, and Tian Mancha from China. So we encourage you to look at the website and encourage directors to sign up for those uh, workshops. They're gonna be amazing. Starting on August 12th, we have the Playwright Retreat, and that will be facilitated this year by Mac Wellman. Yay, Mac. Uh, he's an extraordinary teacher and artist. Uh, I have a new program after that called Next Generation New Performance Development Incubator. 
This is will happen between August 25th and September 4th. We need your help in getting the word out to all the people that could uh, come to this program. This program is for un artists under 35 years old who are going to be able to use the residence of La Mama Umbria as a retreat to create new pieces. New work, as a, it's an incubator, you can work on things, you can develop projects there, and there'll be La Mama artists there during the entire time for feedback. It'll be more like, um, if you know the Sundance Institute process where people watch each other in rehearsal, they give feedback to each other when they want it, but it's really an incubator for new work by young artists. Uh, something that we're very, very excited about. And you can find out information about that online with an application form. That program, uh, because it's supported by the local uh, Umbrian um, grant and government, uh, is, uh, is free. So people who get accepted to the program don't have to pay for anything except for the room and board at La Mama Umbria. And the, the program itself, though, is without charge. So we're very excited to be able to offer that. In addition, um, for those of you who are interested in the Spoleto Festival of Two Worlds, we're, going to, we're offering a Spoleto Festival tour, July 2nd to July 12th, two nights in Rome, and then uh, a, a week at Sp the Spoleto Festival with tickets to four or more productions that are happening during the festival. Um, and that tour will be led by the extraordinary uh, Frank Carucci, who's right here. <laughs> and to finish up, uh, as we have in the past years, we're going to be participating in La Mama Spoleto Open, which are performances in the Festival of Two Worlds, the Spoleto Festival of Two Worlds that we produce, both at the Cantiere Oberdan, which is our little our theater in Spoleto, at La Mama Umbria, and sometimes at various other spaces around Spoleto. Uh, one of those productions will be the, the uh, production that Nube and Bernardo are working on, and that will become part of this this festival. So lots of exciting things to look forward to. I hope you'll all spread the word and join us. Uh, and thank you very much. Yeah. And now I want to reintroduce Mia. She's going to say a, some concluding comments. And she's preparing food. Uh, well, I'll, I could uh, jump in. OK. Mia would be saying. <laughs> Please join us now for a meal prepared by our Italian colleagues who have joined us specifically for this occasion. So Mar uh, Adriana, who you met, and her sister Maria, uh, and uh, several other of our Italian colleagues are here. Um, and we're pleased that we want to announce the donations of some of the items you'll be having from Urbani Truffles, Truffle Company, Jerry's Market in New Jersey, Monini Olive Oil, and Muti Tomato Sauce Company. So thank you to all those sponsors. We appreciate that very much. We also want to thank Culture Hub and for their work in live streaming this event and in bringing us the video you saw earlier from Colombia. Um, we are going to have some music coming up, so we want to extend our thanks to Claudio Scarbotini and Yukio Suji, who will be playing music for you as you enjoy the rest of your evening. So thanks for being here. Thank you.